I'm working on my Chevy Astro van, um, GMC Safari style, and I've already done a video which should be on the site on how to get the glove compartment ashtray assembly off the front of this. And the point to this one is if you want to remove this cowling because you for some reason have to get to the back of the engine which can be handy if that little vacuum line that's cheap 1 8 inch plastic finally burns in two and your air conditioner only blows cold air out the floor vents instead of out the top uh, which is a whole nother topic but anyway what you'll need to do this little job is two metric sockets uh, 13 and a 15 and once you get all this out of the way there's a bolt right here on both sides and those are the 13s you just take those off and then the fun ones are back up in there at the top corners and they're slotted sockets I mean bolts hex head bolts but they've got a slot on them so if all you have is a long screwdriver you can get to them from that they are captive if you take those loose there's one on each side this is the easy side to see the harder side to see is over here because you have air conditioning mess in the way and it's uh, let's see if I can't get the camera to see it and you kind of make it out there it is it focused so you can get to it you just might need a socket extension or two you take both of those out and you take these 13 millimeters out at the bottom and then the trick is you have to mess with this air conditioning ducting that handily feeds the rear of the vehicle but lift this up and force it out and then the whole thing there's a little connection at the top which is right there take this loose and it and it comes out and just slips into this right hand side so this air conditioner is untangled that comes out so now the thing is free there's two little pulls supposed to be two little pulls that you can grab here and pull it back once you get those four bolts undone and actually once I noticed that you get that air conditioner van out of the way it's a little easier to get to this one on the right hand side so I've done this a number of times but today I'm lazy and I'm not going to do it I'm just showing you how to do it uh, you might want to take this ground connector off before you get rid of this now the other thing that I've noticed is the size of this thing this this passenger seat that I'm sitting in doesn't move back far enough which is real handy to get this out of there as last time I had to actually move this out of there uh, I had to take the seat out to provide room to move this out but most of the time you don't have to take the seat out because if you just slide it back to the edge of the seat right here that's enough to be able to get in there and do what you might need to do uh, it's, it can be handy changing plugs on this thing so that's really all there is to it the picture is worth a thousand words good luck